Hey Tubes, I'm out here in the middle of the soybean field, but it's for a good reason. You know, uh, a lot of you guys know that the, the pumpkin chunk was canceled, the nationals were canceled for this year, but I'm out here with the Daddy Dirt Bike, and we got the cannon, the air cannon. A local uh, TV station wants to do a little thing on it, because we're still going to shoot this thing for ALS and uh, make some money for them. But uh, for this display, we're not gonna we're not gonna shoot the thing 4,000 foot or nothing. We're just gonna shoot and aim at some barrels down there. Little dirt bike 5100s at school today. He he wanted to be here, but he couldn't. He's a big part of this operation. But uh, we're waiting for the the television guy to get here. They're setting up the pumpkins. We just finished setting up the cannon here. A lot of you guys never get a chance to see this when it's all set up. Chunk Norris. That's pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to wait for uh, the television program guy to get here. And uh, I'll try to keep my back to the wind. It's pretty windy out here. Like right now, you probably hear a little wind, but you see the soy, but we'll be okay. Alright, we'll do some more filming when we get things going. Daddy dirt bike, look at him. And Professor Bruce. All right. Guy's got a little camera on top of his car. This must be him. What do you want to do I want to make sure it can't All right. whip. You know. Here's Daddy dirt bike. He's getting interviewed right now. The guy's using a GoPro. Bigger air cannons, which are huge, huge tanks, uh, and they've they've done just under a mile. Good night. Just under a mile. As a matter of fact, one of them went out to uh, Mohawk, Utah, where uh, 5,000 feet up, and did a mile. Did break your record. Why? It's fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. And he, I just pulled in and saw the cannon set up, and I started laughing myself, so I buy it. It is fun. Oh, we yeah. haven't even shot any of them off yet. So. Shoot, shooting at the target is going to be very interesting <laughs> because you really can't control the straight direction of the uh, pumpkin. It's, it's, depending on the shape, it's going to go where it wants to go. Now, I get it, but for the layman, describe that. I mean, the pumpkin, it's not, you, 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 let's say you're firing a bullet. That's a machine thing. It's got a defined shape. It's uniform, um, and it probably comes out of a rifle barrel. None of that's happening here. None of that's here. No, it's just it's air. It rides on the cushion of air around it or behind it. It can't be uh, tight enough that it's going to pull it up with the barrel. It's going to be have that cushion of air. And then when it comes out, the shape, you know, when we originally we try to get them round, these pumpkins are kind of a flat type uh, jack-o'-lantern type pumpkins, so they're not the best shape for firing. If you're in a competition, we got to hundreds of them to pick up just the correct one. For a competition? Yeah. Okay. But you can't build it for any certain kind of pumpkin because they're all different. They're all God's own creation. That is that's that's correct. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, that's what makes the fun of it, too. Not knowing where it's going to go when you're shooting at targets, and then when the distance, we just want to get it depending on the angle, the wind, the direction, and everything. We just Alright, good stuff. Now let's, um, might as well talk a little bit. But years ago, not many people knew about the disease or knew what it was. So when we started getting involved with Pumpkin Chunk and we thought uh, in order to raise money for that cause, we would have our test firing here on this farm and invite a lot of people to come and, you know, sold food and we had all kinds of contests here to try to raise money for the cause. Um, that event went on here at the farm for six years and it just got to be too big for this farm. So. Three years ago, we moved out to Burlington County Fairgrounds, where we were getting thousands of people coming out to both have watched these machines fire pumpkins and at the same time raise money for a really good cause. Now, how many cannons do you all expect? We're just going to have one cannon, but all together there'll be five pumpkin throwing machines. So this year we know we have a catapult, trebuchet, a centrifugal machine, and an air cannon, and I'm not sure what style the fifth one is. It's a new machine that we haven't seen yet. Now, see, that shows my ignorance that I said cannons. There's actually a whole lot of different ways of heating pumpkin that range. That is correct. What's a trebuchet again? I'd have to go back 600 years to, to, to siege it. That's right. They're siege, medieval siege engines that are powered through dropping of weight. It's all weight powered, whereas a catapult uses tension and release of tension to power it. So that's the difference between a catapult and a trebuchet. So weight, you could essentially put a, a, a boulder on uh, one end of a log on a string or something, you release that boulder and it throw the pump. It would throw the bucket. 
kitchen, you get some fresh stuff. I'm dying. I mean, this is, I, you know, I don't know how many of these stories my boss is going to let me get away with, but I, I love to kind of know. I got three-year-old twins and a nine-year-old, too. I know they love to see This has got to be a big thing for the kids, right? It is a big thing for the kids. And if you come to our event on the 18th, um, for any donation to ALS, we will allow you to actually watch the world your machines. <laughs> so bring you your kids. Do you have any idea <laughs> who you're telling about this? The world's biggest 45-year-old kid. Yeah, we, we have little kids doing it and big kids doing it, and we're just okay with that. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Uh, by, by all means, um, you know, just let me know if, uh... Thank you. Whoa! He overshot it. But it went. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that thing cooking down there. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, that was go high? Way high. Wow, that thing really took off. Oh, my God. Wow. You see it came out and then just kept it just going up. up. It just went up. <laughs> I don't even know where that one went, so it went so far. From here, it went. That one's stuck in a chamber. We don't know what this one's going to do. We'll film it anyway. So I just love this. It's just, you know. <laughs> Unless you've done it, and now I have, there's no way you're going to figure out how much fun this is until you do it. Yes, we're blowing pumpkins out into the field using a gigantic air cannon. It's insanely fun. There it goes. There goes our reporter. <laughs> we're breaking down now. Yeah, that one day was... There you go. Rolling up the hoses. Oh, my yeah. God. That was... I, I got to help put this thing together, take it apart. Several rains. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. We just took the, the muzzle off there. Mounted on top. We're not going next year, so we're going to have a refund. But then if we know you... I guess that'll be enough for this video. All right. We still got to put the compressor away and stuff. All right. I think it's going to be... I don't know where I'm going to put this, but it's going to be on television. It's probably going to be tomorrow. I probably won't have this video up on time, so... All right. Well, Not for you're this. Like a, you're like a 